That's it. This is the church of San Lorenzo. Well, there's a story around this. After having completed the Sistine ceiling, Michelangelo wanted to go back to work on the tomb for Pope Julius. But he was prevented from doing that because the Medici had three architecture projects in mind. One was this, one was the library, which we might get to, and the other was the new sacristy that we were definitely getting to. So what, he, what they wanted was a facade, because this had been sitting here like this for a very long time. And so what he designed what would have been a big freestanding rectangular structure which would have gone all the way to the top of the bottom of the eaves of the peak. So the peak would have shown above, but that would have been straight across and down. And it would have come out about the distance of where the top step is, and it would have had niches in it, and it was to be made out of solid marble. It would have been amazing. And that's when he spent the three years in Petrosanta quarrying all that marble for this project. And then, for reasons which I don't think anybody knows, because I don't know them and I've read everything, the Medici just suddenly lost interest. They wanted to put their money elsewhere. And since then, and this is 1524, it's been sitting here ever since, untouched. Now, there has been some talk recently, much to the consternation of Florentines, of actually going ahead and executing it. And they've done computer uh, simulations, but very high order of, of resolution to make it, to show what it would look like. And of course it would cost millions of dollars and everything else. And it also presents questions, which is, he planned niches and he planned bronze reliefs. And we have no idea what kind of sculpture he would have put in the niches. And we have no idea what the subjects would have been in the bronze reliefs. So it would always be unfinished unless you found something to put in there. Now as far as I'm concerned, I would hire modern artists to do their yeah. own work for the niches. There would have been four, and for these huge, round relief sculptures. I just hire locals, new people, to do new stuff. It's, it's just sculpture. You can stick it in there. And we have a model that he built, which is like six feet long and you know pretty big, of what he wanted it to look like. So we know to a high degree of precision what he planned. So we could do that. We could build it. And, uh, and then everybody would come from all over the world and go, ooh, ah, uh, be cool. <laughs>